There is often a need to encrypt and or password protect archive files. Whether you are using them to backup data or share it across the internet, you should take the necessary steps to protect your data. In this quick tip we will examine three ways to create an encrypted and password protected archive in Linux. We will also briefly discuss some pros and cons of each method. Before we get started, please support Putorius by subscribing and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are published. This is the most secure way of creating an encrypted, password-protected compressed archive. However, it is also one of the more complicated. Here we will use the tar command to create an archive and pipe it to the gpg command for encryption and password protection. This example specifies the AES-256 encryption algorithm. After entering the command you will be prompted for a passphrase. This is the password you will need to decrypt the archive. Now we will secure copy the file to a different system and try to decrypt it. Here we use the gpg command to decrypt the file, then pipe it to tar to extract the files from the archive. As you can see, we must enter the passphrase in order to decrypt the file. Once the correct passphrase is entered, the archive is decrypted and the files are extracted. This is just as secure as the first option since it supports the same AES-256 encryption algorithm. However, it does require you to put the passphrase or secret on the command line, which I am not a fan of. It is also not as convenient because most systems do not come with the p7zip package installed. Although, you can easily install the p7zip package with yum, dnf or apt-get. Here we created an archive called secure.zip. Now we will transfer the file to a different system and try to decrypt it. Now we will use the E option to extract the zip file. As you can see, we are prompted for a password before it will unzip the file. Once the correct password is entered, the files are unzipped. The zip command provides options that allow you to encrypt archives. It uses a known insecure pkzip algorithm and also requires you to add your passphrase on the command line. The benefit of this method is both Linux and Windows users can extract the archive without any additional software. However, because of the use of a weak algorithm, I would not use this on sensitive data. To encrypt and password protect a zip file simply add the dash dash password option followed by the desired password. Now let's transfer the encrypted archive to another system and try to decrypt it. Here we use the unzip command to extract the files. We are prompted for our password before the zip utility will extract the files. So, there you have three methods to create encrypted archives. There are other ways to accomplish this like OpenSSL, GPG zip, and bcrypt. Some methods are more secure than others. If you value your security, I suggest you read up on the different algorithms and signing methods that are out there and decide for yourself which is right. Whatever method you use, remember it is important to not forget your passphrase. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. A text version of this tutorial is available at www.putorius.net.